Hundreds of officers from the Law and Order Agency, SATPOL PP, and local and national police continued to be deployed at the Gang Doli Red Light District in Surabaya, East Java, which was recently shut down by local government. They are stationed to prevent sex workers from returning after Edo Fitri celebrations in their hometowns. Some 700 personnel, including armed police officers, combed the neighborhood in search of any signs of prostitution. Every formal brothel was also checked. Strict security was also put in place to prevent any sex workers from returning to the area. So far, none have been found. Gangdoli was once touted as Southeast Asia's largest red light district, and it was recently ordered to be shut down before the Ramadan fasting month began at the end of June. <laughs> Violence continued in the rest of Papua province as Indonesian security forces exchanged fire with pro-independence rebels on Friday morning, killing four. It's the second clash between security forces and the Free Papua Organization, OPM, in less than a week. The firefight erupted as an Indonesian military battalion transported soldiers to a forward point in Mani Jaya district, the site of a deadly ambush targeting local police officers. A local branch of the OPM, led by Poran Wenda, attacked a police post earlier this week, killing four officers and injuring six others. Jakarta vowed firm action against those responsible, marked by a significant increase in military presence in the already heavily militarized region. Security forces say they are searching for OPM militants, but the increased presence prompted many Papuan villagers to flee their homes out of fear over future clashes. A top Indonesian Democratic Party of Struggle PDIP official denied allegations that party chairwoman Megawati Sukarno Putri was involved in a graph-tainted banknote printing project. Megawati was implicated in a leaked Australian gag order posted online by WikiLeaks. PDIP Secretary General Chahayo Kumalo says the claims listed in an Australian super injunction barring media coverage of the scandal are false. Gas stations in the Indonesian capital pulled subsidized diesel from the pumps as national restrictions on taxpayer-backed diesel went into effect on Friday. The central government turned down the tap on subsidized diesel as the amount already sold neared the halfway point for the nation's annual cap on subsidized diesel. This gas station in Jakini, central Jakarta, hung large banners informing motorists that they no longer sold subsidized diesel. The station now only sells market rate diesel, which costs twice as much as subsidized fuel. Gas stations in central Jakarta and those in neighborhoods close to shipping terminals and airports were barred from selling subsidized diesel, known locally as solar. Supplies began to shrink after the revised state budget for 2014 slashed subsidized fuel funds by 2 million kiloliters. The country has already burned through more than half its quota by the year's midpoint, prompting BHP Migas to order gas stations to restrict the sale of subsidized diesel. Oh, enggak, enggak ada, enggak akan dihapus itu kayaknya rumor salah ya. Begini, ada memang baru saja BP Migas mengeluarkan edaran kepada badan usaha. Dalam hal ini badan usaha yang menyalurkan BBM subsidi itu ada tiga, Pertamina, AKR, dan SPN. Nah itu ada enam poin yang utama. Yang pertama, berkaitan dengan solar, jam waktu buka SPB, SPBU-nya itu jam 8 sampai jam 18 sore. Itu pun di daerah-daerah klaster tertentu untuk Sumatera, Kalimantan, eh, untuk Sumatera, Kalimantan, Jawa, dan Bali. Itu pun diberikan eh, fleksibilitas kepada badan usaha mana daerah-daerah yang kemungkinan itu rawan akan penyalahgunaan.